Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Let's Play Pillars of Eternity. In the last session we returned here to Fedoran's Keep, where we held audience, which resulted in Aloth being sent away on a mission. So he's gone for, I believe, was it six days? I think it was six days. He's busy with Lord Briringwigar. So in the meantime, we have to bring uh, Karna back into the fold. And seeing as we are here and we have spoken to Karna, congratulated him on his success with the well situation, we're going to do something for him. And that is, we're going to descend into the bowels of Fedora's Keep to clean out the riffraff. And he can keep his eye open for any signs of the uh, sc is it scrolls or something. He's looking for a book. For Don wasn't quite paying attention at the time. Hey. Meanwhile, Marshal Forwin is here because we are supposed to be recruiting an army to defend our keep. But apparently, there isn't a time limit, so he can wait. In terms of Karna's position in the party, we are going to focus him as a ranged damage dealer. We don't anticipate using him for any great length of time, perhaps just standing in on occasion. Alright. So we have already explored a very small portion of this level. This is down as level 1 of the old Endless Pass. 1 of 15, I believe, so this could be a rather long clear-out. The world's worst cellar. Hey. So next time you're clearing out a few spiders, a few odds and ends, a bit of junk, just think of poor Fedoran. 15 levels to clear out, and I'm sure there's far worse down here than spiders and dust and old bikes. Or maybe not, as we stumble across a spider. <laughs> okay. Uh, more than one. Hey. Varathus! Oh, 34 damage. That'll do. And just block the door. Oh, somebody's got loose. Fear not, folks, fear not. We shall have these critters down in no time. Yeah. This fight is mine. Hmm, that looked taking a bit of a pounding there. What is it? Hey. Hey. Yes. All right then. See if there's anything else we can pull towards us. Hands grants restore light endurance. Three per rest. It's pretty nifty. Well, obviously, obviously he gets that anyway. Restore minor endurance. Just get my bearings here. Restore light endurance. 18 endurance. I mean, it's not a lot. Let's be honest here. It's not a lot. But if nobody's wearing gloves, it just provides an extra... an extra boon, really, doesn't it? 
I'll give them to I'll give them to Karna. Why not? Karna also equipping the swaddling sheet which we just plucked from the Fedoran Keep Treasury. Which gives him uh, uh, one per rest uh, spell here or ability. Recall Agony. 30% of all damage reapplied over 12 seconds. Now, I don't know if that's all damage taken by the foe or just the damage dealt out by Khan on a particular foe. But it sounds useful. An overwhelming wave when hit by a crit gives him a retaliatory kind of strike. Overwhelming wave. Okay. So let's take a wee peek. So there you go here. Restoring. Uh, there it is. Recall Agony. And there is Restore Light Endurance. Very, very minor indeed. But you never know, it could save somebody's life. What is it? Uh, Zarips. Hey, you're not getting through me. Woof. Ooh, and a key. What is it? Thirty five golden jukes. If nothing else, cleaning out this place may nettle some nice loot and plunder by the looks of it. We've only been here two minutes and we've got some gloves and uh, a fair bit of coin. Hey. Hello. Hello? Here we are. To think we are so close. Beneath our very feet lie the endless paths built by Ard Nua, the great Anguithan king. Well, up here this is all Adira, of course. But should we descend far enough, we will find some real history. Hmm, sounds like Kana is getting a little bit excited. To uncover that great king's tomb would be a dream. But it is one of his servants I am after. Gabranos, a powerful mage and a dedicated scholar. A keeper of lore, just as I mean to be. Alright, so finally divulging some further information about his quest. He was in possession of the Tanvi Oratoa, or whatever form of it preceded the one we know. I've seen it in ruins, alongside Gabranos' name. Scraps of the same symbols and verses we know in Rawatai. He must have held the words in high regard. Or perhaps he was even the author. Yes. Fedora noticing his uh, relish as he speaks. Commenting that he sounds very impressed by this Gribranos. They say he held power over the elements. But I am more interested in his writing. He was a prolific author. I haven't been able to translate everything, but I've seen enough to know that he travelled far and wide. If only we could have met him, what wisdom he could share. But we can follow his example and strive to learn from those around us, improve upon it. Hmm. Asking him if he's actually read any of his writings. Uh, well, well, not entirely. How could I? It's a dead language, and hardly anyone has translated even a small fraction of it. But what little I can, I have translated. By comparing the symbols in his work to what others have found, I piece together a phrase from the Tanvi Torah, clear as day. I even gave it to the keeper to check. But she was convinced I'd written it myself. Yeah, and just seeking confirmation of exactly what importance this book holds. I mean, we're going to clear the Endless Pass anyway, but... Uh, Ruatai faces troubled times. Once we were a unified people, but that's changing. And the Tan Viora Torah is at the heart of that. There are those who say that we haven't held 
to its instruction, that we've allowed ourselves to grow weak and polluted our traditions by welcoming foreigners rather than laying claim to the lands around us, that we must halt to those traditions if we are to make of ourselves a nation to be feared. My brothers will have it so, but we don't need to isolate ourselves to make Ruatai great. I know there's more to the chant. It wasn't created out of sand and water a thousand years ago, but by, brought to Ruatai by the Nguithans, by a people that knew the value of alliances and shared their knowledge with us. And with that knowledge, we made Ruatai what it is today. Good grief. <laughs> if I can find the original... I can prove it. They'll know that the chant is far older than we believed, that the Nguithans favoured peace and the trade of knowledge. If we follow in their footsteps, we can make a kingdom just as grand and lasting as theirs. Hmm. Sounds like a very uh, noble intention, but probably very difficult. I suppose for Doran, they're a little bit bamboozled as to, well, one old book. I suppose if it goes back with it, it would, would be uh, quite the find, and I think it would probably convince people. Simply stating, I see, I think is best here. Just trying to press matters along slightly here. So Doran hasn't got time for this ramblings. Asking us to aid him. Well, less chatter and more searching then. If my sources are correct, Gabranos will have brought the text with him. It will probably be within a library. Or a tomb, perhaps. It tends to be one of the two. Let's be off. Let us be off indeed. Okay, so that steps down, possibly to level two. Which, um, we're not quite ready to go down yet, because there's more of this level to clear out. So clear out we shall. I'm here. Let's use our sneak to get an eyeball on the situation. More spiders. Nothing to be overly concerned with, I don't think. Four. Ooh, ooh. Beetles as well. Ooh, dear. Well, ideally, we don't want to pull the whole lot. If we can just get the spiders, it'll be nice. Hey. Let's try and see if we can get him in the doorway, perhaps. Nice. 37 damage. Pull back a little bit. Ooh, there's quite a few. Um... Pull back a touch, and off we go. That's how it's done. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. One at a time, folks. One at a time. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Oh, that worked a charm, I must say. Of course. Worked a royal charm. Um, Karna, we have given him an ability which hopefully... We've raised his um, accuracy with the marksman talent. Anticipating, of course, him being a ranged companion for the time being. And... Um, which is the one we gave him? We gave him... I already edit these flipping chants. There you go. This one here. Oh, shooting hellfire. 
Decreases reload time and increases the speed of ranged attacks for all allies. There you go. That's what I was bloody looking for. Hey. Hey. Okay, moving on. Oops. Got some hey. uh, beetles here. Uh, a new enemy that we have not seen before. I'm here. We will not take them lightly. Right. Let's just take a quick peek at how many there are. Slightly wider entrance. Just the one? Can't be. So you got a wood beetle and we have a stone beetle. Just the two. That's not too bad. Although the stone beetle looks slightly more menacing, I'm sure we'll be fine. Hey. See if we can get an early blow here. Twenty-six damage, we like the sound of that. And in we go. Nice work. Look at that. 56 silver loose. Hey. Go down very nicely. I don't think we've actually been in there. Went to seats, went to Mayerwald there. We came in this door, so this is unexplored. Ready, watcher. Well, Gonna need Nadog's assistance to open the door. Pick, there we go, unlocked. Ooh, wait a second. Spiders up there. Spider spiders. Beetles here. Got it. Ooh, slightly more beetles than before. Hey. Sure we'll be fine. The wood beetles weren't quite so nasty. Better rush forward if we can. Oh, they spit something. Really? You nasty. Ooh, that's quite bad. Hey, I'm not kidding. Yeah, this isn't working. This fight is mine. Of course. What is it? As you wish. Ooh, what's that? Potion of infused with vital essence. 50 max endurance, 50 max health. It's quite a nice potion. We saw some spiders up here. Let's just get let's just get stuck in, lads. No need to fear. That's how it's done. Oh, it's a map not giving a flying. Cr What's he doing up here? What are you doing? Silly man. Just chilling out whilst the rest of us are trying to fight. <laughs> okay. So we've got an area here, we've got an entrance way here. Hey. Ready. Hey. 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 Hey.
ready, Watcher. Sure. Looters. You're telling me that there are actual looters down here in my very keep. Talk about a security risk. The steward could have told me something. Right, we got a looter, a looter, a gold packed knight, a looter, and a looter. All right. I don't remember any of them spellcasters. He's got a crossbow. These two look like stealthy types. He's. Uh... Hey, hey, hey. Ah, ah. Run! Goodness gracious, it's a damn good job that, she, she, that she's good at stealth. Right, um... We're gonna want... Yes. Hey. We're gonna, this is gonna be, this is probably not gonna be so, so straightforward here. The knight is gonna have to go down pretty quickly. The looters, if we put the Itamak on one of them, Nadog on the other, they'll fall pretty quickly. It's just where the others go. We don't really want people running rampant here. Don't want people running rampant. We've got to tie him down. Right, he can shoot from the distance. That's fine. You take him. You take a looter and you take the rest. Perhaps knock one of them down to start with. Could be handy. The priest's going to come forth for his buffs. She'll have to attack the same as her pet. He's just going to kind of come and do some shooting, maybe? Fedora, eh, just kind of chilling. I think slicken. Slicken some of these goons. Can just get those four, I think. With a nice, well placed slicken. Or maybe not. Is he actually doing anything? Or was it interrupted? Recast it anyway. Recast it. I think we have... Fedoran's gone round and is now flanking. He's got two. The Gullpack Knight, the Looter. For He needs to... Turn on the looter, I think. He's got him covered. He's going to try and knock down the knight. Meanwhile, for Doran, I think. Yeah, Slicken. Just put him over. Get us a bit of respite. She can. Go for the night. Apologies. I'm, I'm thinking. I've, I know I've respect. I've, she had envenomed strike before. I can't remember if I give her that again. Uh, <clears throat> right. I think we'd be all right here. Just attack. There we go. Oh, we got this. No problems. You might want to just take down him in case he hits Fedoran, seeing as Fedoran was the last person to hit him. He may be a little bit angry. Fedoran, you're not going to just run around the corner just in case. <laughs> Break line of sight. Oh, there we go. Not too bad. Hey. Probably made a mountain out of a molehill, but you just, you know. They're all thinking about the tactics that Fedoran has been... Harping on about recently. Hey. 
cap and some veg, a hood, some lockpicks, a helm, some coin, and a dead body. Not very good loot, says by the looks of it. Hey. Right, just this lower area down here to worry about as we quick save it. Ready, watcher. Okay, a bit of stealth work from Sagani, so we can prepare ourselves appropriately for the task ahead. Uh, loot as is necessary, even as well. There you go. A bit of stealthy loot. Very nice. Oh! Some gold, gold skellings. Potion of minor endurance and some spiders. What a surprise. Okay, spear spider, ivory spidling, ivory spinner. Just the usual, uh, what the flipping hell is that? Spider queen? Uh, I'm hoping she's looking like a bark may be worse than her bite hopefully hopefully her size is just a bit of an intimidation factor and that she's not going to maul us all to death a blade in the dark. right oh okay well we've pulled them already kind of in didn't mean to do that oh he's on our side Wait a minute, wait a minute, just chill out, chill out. Let's just yes. be thankful that we've already pulled the two, not the whole kit and caboodle. Although it will be coming. Her little minion here, guarding. Um, I don't know how dangerous this thing is going to be, but we're going to have to utilise perhaps some of our combination manoeuvres, remembering that we get a 50% damage increase if we use a DOT on the Queen. So Necrotic Lance would be good, followed by Itumok doing extra damage. Uh, other than that, have her, obviously have her attack the same target. Hey. She can probably be knocked down. So try and knock her down where we can. What? Maybe lower her defences. Decreasing deflection, fortitude, reflex and will, that might be useful. Don't know how hard she hits, but... Ideally, she'll only be focusing on Adair. Hey. So get yeah. stuck in! <laughs> wow. Um, Adair is poisoned and he is stuck. Not good. Right, yeah, let's do what we said we were going to do, which is... Uh, D.O.T. the thing. Spider Queen, D.O.T. effect. He's going in and straight away going to go into a frenzy. Right, it's a mark. Are you stuck? Oh, damn, he's stuck. Gonna have to hit the damn spiderling. Kill the spiderling if we can. Um, the crotchet lance is done. Cold chill. Go, 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 go. No. Go, 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 go. She's suffering from the crotchet lance only for another 0.3 seconds, though. We're doing alright, we're doing alright, no need to panic. We'll just heal us with uh, the old prayer thing. Hey. Ooh! Oidrecht. A stiletto, one handed. Once belonged to a prominent military instructor in the capital city of Edia. 
The instructor was a cipher whose gifts were seldom used by his empire, and he grew frustrated at his superior's inability to see the potential of ciphers to perform key missions that no other force would be capable of. He began making his opinion known, and over time the opinion became more subversive and radical, until at last his unsanctioned activities got him charged with treason. The officer and crew that came to detain him, however, underestimated him as much as the Empire had, and with only his blade and the talents of his mind, he slew the would-be captors. He fled the city and embarked on a life as a duelist, obsessed with proving his potential to any who would question it. In the end, his life ended in the manner that the lives of duelists typically do, and the potential he often spoke of would remain just that. The knife still bears his psychic imprint, and the wielder will often get flashes of the manoeuvres the original owner performed in order to deliver the killing blows to his opponent. Some regard this as a curse, but many find value in it, and use such experiences to better realise the knife's potential. Were it not for evidence of heavy use about the handle and pommel, Oidrit would seem new, its cutting edge perfectly bevelled and honed without a single nick along its length. 20% damage restored as endurance. Damage by uh, bypass. Pretty nifty little weapon, which would be useful for, I think, if that's got damage bypass as well. So half harvest with damage bypass combined with that would make her quite a dangerous uh, melee character let alone uh, ranged okay so it wasn't so bad hey. I think perhaps we may be a little bit higher level than anticipated for stumbling down here but we'll take it yes tiny pet spider yeah, I think we'll pass on that Speaking of pets, where's our bloody Tess gone? Just realised she hasn't been out for a while. There we go. Hey. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm just beginning to wonder, there's been no traps on, on this particular level, but you bet your bottom dollar there'll be traps further down, the, the, the levels that are less touched by human presence. Or dwarven pre presence, or all and, or any other kith presence, I suppose is the correct term. A ladder going up. Which is the opposite direction to where we're supposed to be going, but there you go. We'll see what's we'll see what up above is. Aha! Walls need some work before this place is secured. This was My the husband could fix them right up. It was the trap door that was blocked. It's a quick way. Oh, look at look at that. It is, ooh, and the level sh thingy, so we can actually go straight to the level that we want. Should we wish to do so? So we don't have to keep going, you know, if we if we last cleared level 13, we don't have to go all the way down every single level back to where we need to be. You can just go straight there, hey. which is very useful indeed. Okay, so we've cleared level 1. It proved to be fairly straightforward for our band of adventurers. Fedoran has got them well trained, of course. So uh, I suppose we can tackle level two while we're here. I don't even think we need to rest, to be honest with you. I think what we'll do is we'll clear the, the the first couple of levels see where we stand in terms of the difficulty in terms of the enemies down there um, and uh, we'll take it from there but I'm not going to uh, do the whole damn kit and caboodle in one go I think we'll just keep revisiting every time we come back to Fedora to keep we'll just do another couple of levels just a couple of levels at a time <laughs> 